Before we start thinking about the sophists and what they have to say, let's see where we are with regard to our issues of you know, truth, reality, metaphysics, and also epistemology, how you know things. Now, we began, or philosophy began from a background where the mythology of Hesiod and Homer was supposed to account for things. The natural world or phenomena, in the natural world phenomena, was due to the gods, what the gods did. And as a result, you really couldn't explain anything. I mean, you could explain that the god was mad, but you had no way of giving an explanation by way of predicting what was going to happen. Now the Milesians came along, Thales being the guy who got this all started, and he saw that there was an order to the universe, and he thought we didn't need these unnatural explanations, these heavenly explanations, so to speak, but rather material explains the natural world, it explains where it came from, its origin, and what it's composed of. You know, the nature of nature, sorry about that bad pun, explains the cosmos, the universe, what, you know, what nature is made of. And the explanations are, sub are subject to verification by observation, by perception, so other people can find out if it's true or false. In fact, that was one of the issues that led Anaximander to, to um, reject Thales' theory and show that there was a problem. Anaximenes also had a way of explaining something that Ag Anaximander couldn't. That is, that their explanations were subject to being verified by other people looking at them and considering that explanation. So it brought a sense of reason, rationality, as opposed to superstition to the world. So it provided, but notice, the Milesians provided an objective truth and an objective reality, right? That is... Um, the water, you know, people are made of water, let's say. That is objectively true. That is the way the world is. That's the real nature of the world.